separation of substances. We know that a solution is formed when a substance dissolves in a given liquid. If it is unable to do so, we say that the substance is insoluble in that liquid. Sugar, that is solute, plus water, that is solvent, equals to sugar solution. Solution is formed as sugar is soluble in water. Mud, that is substance, plus water, that is liquid, equals to muddy water. No solution is formed as mud is insoluble in water. Let us understand what happens when a soluble or insoluble substance is mixed in water. In the given diagrams, the green and purple particles represent the solid substance that is being mixed into the liquid represented by white and red particles. The diagrams B and C show how a solution is formed. A soluble substance gradually disperses and dissolves into the liquid. If the substance is insoluble in the liquid, it stays undispersed as shown in diagram A. Soluble and insoluble liquids Liquids that mix with each other are called miscible liquids. Water and milk, vinegar and water are examples of miscible liquids. Liquids that do not mix with each other are called immiscible liquids. Water and oil or vinegar and oil are some examples of immiscible liquids. Separation of substances The most common example of separating insoluble substances from a solution is when we prepare tea. We boil the tea leaves in water and then add sugar and milk to it. The tea prepared contains the tea extract, sugar, milk and water. But the tea leaves that are insoluble first need to be separated by a sieve before we can get a cup of tea. Separation of insoluble substances In the same way, impurities can be separated from the mixture with the help of different methods. Let us start with the simplest. Hand picking. This method is used in separating substances that are easily visible to the naked eye and thus can be picked up with the hand. Things like twigs, leaves and other bigger impurities can be separated from dal kept in a plate by simply hand picking. Sedimentation The natural process by which insoluble impurities in a liquid mixture settle down to the bottom forming a solid layer is defined as sedimentation. If the mixture of soil and water is stirred, 
and left undisturbed for a few hours then then the soil particles start settling down slowly at the bottom of the vessel it is only when the water is clear that the process of sedimentation is complete the solid impurities that settle down at the bottom of the vessel are called the sediments decantation the process of draining of the partially clear liquid after sedimentation is called decantation during decantation it is important to leave behind a small amount of liquid in the container in order to prevent the sediment from flowing out of the container and getting mixed up with the clear liquid the water that collects over the layer of impurities during sedimentation can be separated by draining it into another beaker by decantation filtration the process of removing tiny impurities present in a liquid mixture through a filter paper is called filtration the liquid obtained after decantation looks quite clear but it still does contain impurities this water can be further purified through the process of filtration the water obtained after decantation is filtered using a special paper called filter paper this paper filters impurities like mud turmeric talcum powder and chalk powder the clear liquid that is collected after filtration is called the filtrate separation of soluble impurities separation of soluble impurities from a solution can be done by the process of boiling boiling when a liquid is heated to the extent that it begins to change into its gaseous state the liquid is said to be boiling if salt solution also called brine is boiled it is observed that after some time the water changes to its gaseous form leaving behind a residue of salt in the vessel many a times water is boiled before filtering to remove soluble impurities especially in places having too much water pollution